Holy Wire Mod here, and this is going to be a video on Autogun Stand 6, which is update to Autogun Stand 5, which is brought to us by viewers like you offering suggestions in the comments below. So if you'd like to see any other suggestions, keep an eye out and let me know if you have any ideas in the comments for this video. So let's get into the updates. Now, you'll notice that there's a keyboard missing here, and that's because the keyboard was giving people issues while they're permitted to move while typing using the keyboard and that caused a bunch of errors while they're typing so I decided to remove the keyboard completely and replace it with chat commands which you can access them by saying slash cmd in chat and it will give you a list of all the available commands and as well as a description and valid input if such valid input is required to understand the command so let's go into the functionality of the screen real quick so you'll see that everything's pretty much the same except the lacking of the keyboard instructions and the color scheme right here and that's for good reason which I'll mention in shortly so we have one and two to change between guns the one being the gun on the left and the two being the gun sold on the right and the plus and minus will increase and decrease the values of the price by 50 you can also alternatively use the slider bar to go from a value of 10,000 at the maximum and all the way down to value of zero you can easily access like that if you can't get it just right. So we can also use chat commands to edit the name, description, and the price too. So let's do that by typing slash name and we'll say the gun number we want to change. So valid inputs between one and two for gun one and gun two. We want to change gun one and call it a shoddy instead of a pump shotgun. So now we move on the screen, it updates, and we can do the same for the description as well. So we say one bad mother. Likewise you can edit the price and let us then stock this up. So we're going to put a shotgun on here and a MAC-10 on this super slidey slope and go from the customer's perspective. So go do 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 do, here's some guns. I like that. Oh, money happens to be on ground. How convenient. Let's go put this money in here. And I'll select a shotgun. This is one bad mother. And purchase. And as you can see, here's a difference. There is now a thank you message on the screen. Now you can actually change this thank you message by saying TYMSG and then typing your message. So we can say anything like thank you to haha -ha sucker. So next time I buy a gun right here. Now it'll say, haha, sucker. All right, so that's the customer's perspective. So now lastly, this is one of the biggest parts of the update, is this light up here. Now as you can see, this is the default color, which it goes to when you turn the shop on. You can actually modify this by saying slash light, and you can type in a custom color. So let's say that we want this color. Now notice when I type this in that the screen changes color as well. So if I go here, this customer screen is also changing and it's always going to be in style and looking good no matter what color you choose, so don't worry about that. So let's say the light is too bright. So we can actually change the light's brightness right here and it has valid input from a value 0 to 10. So let's say we want to make it a 3 and you can see how much dimmer it looks now when it's a 3. Now I can also change the size as well from a value from 0 to 1024. So we'll say size and we'll say value 300 and that'll show you greatly how different it looks. So it looks actually a little bit more sinister like this. So we can change all that with the light command as well. So if I wanted to say the same color and then the next argument right here would be the brightness. So that's going to be a value of 0 to 10 right here. So say we'll put it to 5. And then we'll put it at 500 for the size. So that's following this order right here. So do that. And as you can see, the values are different. Now, I also have 60 preset colors in here. So we have your standard colors like red and blue and green. But then we also have odd and substandard colors like aqua or teal or navy blue oh just kidding about navy blue but anyway we do have a lot of different ones that are even odd like flesh and all kinds of stuff 
So, if you don't know what color to pick, though, you kind of kind of choosing what to go for. I like gold personally, but so gold. But if you're choosing a color or you want to find a new color, kind of explore your options. You can type random, and this will display the randomly generated color in chat right here. So you'll know it for next time if you want to use it again. So right here we have kind of like a purple color. And speaking of the purples, of course, we have violet for those curious. Violet and all that. So anyway, if you look at the expression two chip for now, that will give you a list of all the colors available. Um, because right now I'm having issues with a command presenting list that's right here. You have all your different colors. So if you're curious, there you go. But anyway, that is going to conclude all the new stuff for this gun stand. If you have any more suggestions, please let me know. And of course, I do have a bunch of suggestions, which I still have to implement. So for those curious where those are, um, please be patient. This is just a quick update for those who are having issues with the keyboard. Anyway, I hope this was informative and you guys liked it. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.